New tonight, Providence residents meeting once again with public safety officials to discuss Richard Gardner living in their neighborhood. As we've reported, the convicted child rapist moved to the Washington Park neighborhood after being released from prison. His moving in has sparked outrage among neighbors and beyond. Tonight, some of them told Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin they feel defeated over the situation. Caroline joins us live now from Providence with more reaction. Caroline. Well, Shannon and Steve, attendance at tonight's meeting here at the Washington Park Community Center was light, maybe 20 people tops, but this meeting was still extremely heated. But they, he is the definition of the yes. Yes. With concerns, questions, and emotions still running high, a discussion held Wednesday night in Providence regarding convicted child molester Richard Gardner living in the capital city. Our kids are locked inside. Our kids are scared. Kids are sleeping with their parents. Megan Sanderson has lived in the Washington Park neighborhood where Gardner now resides with his wife for about 15 years. She says she feels defeated. I do understand the limitations of the law and I understand that his his rights are intact and, and that we don't have we don't have a lot of leeway and it's frustrating. An emotion shared by many in attendance at Wednesday night's meeting, the third community gathering since Gardner moved to the Providence neighborhood in mid-October. Always when you share information and people can explain how they feel, it's always a good thing. Gardner, who was previously convicted of sexually assaulting children in Warwick and Massachusetts in the late 80s, was released from prison in Massachusetts in October. He then moved to the Washington Park neighborhood to a street residents tell us is home to dozens of children. Since then, Providence police have kept a close eye on the area. He's got a right to live there and he can live you know, and come and go as he pleases. We can't infringe on his rights either, but we'll provide that security as the best that we can. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry wouldn't comment whether there is still a 24 hour detail on the street Gardner lives on, simply telling us multiple safety measures are still in place. And I hope that we can stand together as a community. That's the, that's the only hope that I have. And Commissioner Perry tells me his next steps are to meet with the Department of Corrections and the Attorney General's office to get the answers to the questions these concerned residents have. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Thank you.